Tonight, new developments in the case of a Macon three year old who was hit and killed by a car. The suspected driver turned himself in Tuesday night. Today, he faced a judge. Ellie Milliken tells us what happened in the courtroom. Court will not be granting you bond today. Accused of killing a three year old and driving away, John Battle Jr. appeared before Magistrate Court Judge Wednesday. This all started early Monday when Jasmine Barnes woke up with a bad feeling and saw her son was missing. She told me that day. I checked my side, Roy was gone. Um, I went to the door, the door was barely cracked open. Then I seen the chair, I was like, oh no. But I didn't start panicking because I knew I'm like probably in the elevator, the fitness center, you know, somewhere like that. After she ran around the hotel, she went and woke up his dad. The couple reported him missing just before 4 a.m. from the suburban studios on Riverside. More than an hour later, deputies found him in the roadway. I, I just want justice for Roy. On Tuesday, the Bibb County Sheriff's Department said their suspect was 40-year-old John Paul Battle Jr. of Macon. And around 7.20 that night, he turned himself in to face charges of homicide by vehicle and leaving the scene. Battle was emotional even before Wednesday's hearing. He started crying and had to leave the courtroom to calm himself. <laughs> I'm here at the court in the Bibb County Jail where John Paul Battle Jr. was denied bond. If he wants bond, he'll have to go to Superior Court. He's also asking for a commitment hearing. If Battle's released on bond, the judge says he should not have any contact with Royal Road's family. For now, he remains in the Bibb County Jail. In Macon, Ellie Milliken, 13 WMAZ News. The Bibb County Sheriff's Office says their Crimes Against Children unit is investigating how Royal was able to get out of the hotel room in the middle of the night.